calm has been restored in Harrismith. Residents agreed to suspend protests for a week after meeting the province of Kokta, MEC Timben in Kangisa. The area has been uh, wracked by chaos over the past few days as residents showed their frustration at poor service delivery. Let's find out what's happening there. Now, Mankoba Mkunu is in the Free State Town. He has been watching what's happening there. Mankoba, good morning. How is the situation looking on the ground and, and what are community members actually telling you? Well, Yveka can say that uh, it's business as usual here in Harrismith this morning. In fact, we are seeing quite a lot of movement uh, from taxis that are now uh, back in full operation. And uh, we have seen also some of the residents making their work, way to work this morning, as well as uh, school children uh, going back to school this morning. But I guess uh, what we are seeing here on the streets are still the remnants of that uh, violent service delivery protest that took place here uh, for the past four days, Yuveka, and really speaking to the anger and frustrations of uh, these residents over issues of service delivery in this particular area. And uh, of course, Yuveka, the, the residents are deciding yesterday to suspend their protest for a week. And this is uh, really to allow uh, the, 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 the provincial government in this particular case to write a letter to President Cyril Ramaphosa's office requesting him to come to this community. This was one of the demands that had been made by some of the community members who are saying that they don't want this matter to be addressed by the provincial government, but they want uh, the president himself to come to this community and to hear uh, some of the frustrations and the issues of service delivery that uh, the people of uh, Intabezo have. So yesterday, Yuveka, there was a meeting, quite a robust meeting, Yuveka, that lasted for about four hours between the provincial government as well as residents. And um, following that meeting, they then uh, agreed to certain uh, issues. Uh, uh, one of them is the fact that um, uh, the issue of... Uh, uh, those who were arrested is going to be addressed. But uh, the MEC is saying that they couldn't quite interfere or uh, try to perhaps negotiate with the police for the release of these people because that will be simply interfering with the working of the police as well as the working of uh, the National Prosecuting Authority in this particular uh, issue. But another issue that was raised was the issue around the fact that they had to write this letter to the president. But uh, the residents are saying that if at all they do not get this response from the president's office within a week, they're saying that Yuveka, they will continue with their protest. But take a listen to what one of the community leaders had to say. We are suspending, we are suspending our, our shutdown, not strike. We are suspending it until the seven days that we have given to the MEC to write the letter to the president. So... We are expecting kids to go back to school. We are expecting everybody to go back to work. And we are expecting the clinic to operate normally. No excuse. Nobody will stop the roads. We are agreeing as a community. We are very much happy about our agreement with the, with the MECs. Right, so, Mankoba, like you say, one of their demands is that they actually want out of their municipality. So what commitment has government given, if any? Well, Yveka, this is one of uh, the key demands, in fact, uh, that uh, had been uh, you know, raised by this community. The fact that they feel that uh, the Maluti Apofo municipality is simply not delivering services to them. And this is a long-standing issue and an issue that these residents say they've been raising for quite a number of years with these municipalities. We speak of issues of electricity. We speak of uh, the issues of uh, water shortages uh, in this particular community and the poor condition of the infrastructure, the roads here are in a mess and the sewage spilling on the streets. So They've been asking really to be, uh, you know, divorced, if I can put it that way, uh, Yuveka, mm -hmm. from the Malutia Pofung municipality, saying that it simply does not cater for their service delivery needs. And, of course, this was one of the issues that were, they've raised in this uh, meeting yesterday. It was um, an issue that they were saying that they're not going to budge on. But uh, we do understand that uh, now uh, this issue, uh, the consensus that was reached between government as well as the residents is the fact that this is a matter that government or the provincial government cannot handle on its own. It would need the demarcation board to come on board. Mm -hmm. And so these residents will have to actually make representations uh, to the demarcation board to perhaps uh, motivate uh, why they should then be moved or be separated from the Maluti Apofong municipality. And uh, as far as we know, we understand that this is what exactly they'll be doing uh, going forward. But first, 
They're saying that they want to express this particular matter and this grievance, in particular to President Cyril Ramaphosa. But uh, yesterday we did speak to the MEC for cooperative, go uh, cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, and this is what he had to say, particularly on this matter of the divorce or the split from Malutia Pofu. We agreed that uh, the dealing process, which is disestablished from Malutia Pofum municipality, the process of the demarcation board, and they are going to make submissions and, uh, uh, so that the demarcation board can look into the matter. They didn't expect that to be happening immediately. They want to follow all two processes for, for, for their views to be heard and be listened to. With regard to writing to the president, we also agreed that through the office of the Premier, we will be making the request to the President to come and see the community here. We did also mention that we would request they be given an audience as well by the Deputy President. They were amendable to that. So we are writing that, and uh, on the reply, we will be handing over to, to the leaders, which will be communicating to, to, to the members. All right, so that is the situation in Harry Smith in the Free State at the moment. The uh, protest suppressed for now. Thanks very much, Mankobam Kunu. He's been following that one for us all week. Still